Hello and welcome to English 162, Composition 2. My name is Natalie Daniels and I am the instructor for this course. A little about me. I have been teaching at LCCC since fall 2015. I teach Humanities 151G, English 061, 161, and 162. Before I started here at LCCC, I earned my bachelor's in studio art from CSU. Then I worked in background investigations for about five years, and I had other jobs in between. I earned my master's in English from Tiffin in 2014. And here I have a photo of me, some recent pieces of art I finished, and the title page of my master's thesis. A few fun facts about me. I love comic books and comic book movies. I'm originally from the east side, but now live in Lorraine County. I have a dog named Meatloaf and two cats named Cookie and Stella. I've been married for 10 years. I have hosted two foreign exchange students, one from Japan and one from Denmark. This is an eight week course, which means we have to jump right in. In this course, we will work on thesis statements, content development, formulating an argument, analyzing our, an argument, academic integrity, and more. I expect that you will review and refer to the syllabus. Use the syllabus as a guide and use it to answer basic questions like, what are we doing this week? And to adhere to course policies. You will do the work. This is how you will learn and be successful in the course. Any work you do should be your own. It should be timely and it should represent your best. This course is not a grammar course. Yes, grammar is important in the writing class, but at this point, you should be familiar with stand standard English. Standard English is the English that is used in professional situations. It's often confused with proper English. Proper English is what you would speak, uh, what you would use to speak with the Queen of England, and it does not fit most scenarios. Standard English is used in email communications. Be sure to review my discussion board and email etiquette page under the resources module. It is knowing when to use first, second, and third person. It is proofing and editing your work. Don't assume it's okay. Grammar is taught in primary and secondary school. College courses require that the student be responsible for knowing, understanding, and applying basic writing conventions. If you have questions on something or need work in a specific area, I am happy to point you in the right direction, but we will not have grammar-based lessons. And tutoring, it's a fantastic resource and I offer extra credit if you go. This is an online course and it is condensed into eight weeks. This means we must complete the same amount of work as a seated 16 week class, but in less time. To do this, there will be video lectures and notes. I will upload PDF copies of the notes along with any video lectures, but know that there is more information within the videos, just like a live lecture. There will be readings. The book from inquiry to academic writing includes an MLA guide and we will use the book for the first major essay assignment, Rhetorical Analysis. 1984 is a novel for the course. Start it now. I will, <clears throat> pardon, it will also be the primary source for the literary analysis. Note that 1984 takes place in an alternate timeline. It is not about what really happened in the year 1984. There will be discussion boards. We are meeting virtually, so this is how we will account for things like attendance, in-class work, and discussions. There will be three major essays, but four major projects. These will test your writing skills. One of these essays is the argument, which is divided into parts one and two. There is a library resources button on Canvas. I expect you to use it for your argument and literary analysis papers. <clears throat> don't plagiarize. When you reference, borrow, use, quote from, 
etc. the work of another, give the original person credit with in-text citations as appropriate and a works cited entry. A course is meant to measure what you have learned, found, and discovered. Don't, change, don't shortchange yourself by not citing your sources or by stealing the work of another, because that's what plagiarism is, stealing. If you have a citation question, check out the resources I have posted to Canvas or visit tutoring and use tools like EasyBib at easybib.com to help out. Throughout the semester, as we work on integrating different types of materials into the coursework, I will offer examples and resources. I won't create your citations for you. That work is up to you, though. <clears throat> All right, we are diving right in, so let's get started. Your tasks for this week are to introduce yourself, post your narrative, review the syllabus, practice MLA, and start thinking about the rhetorical analysis. Thanks, and I'll see you on the discussion board.